Right, question 23. The diagram shows a pyramid. There's a pyramid. B, C, D, E is a square with sides of length 10 centimetres. That's the bottom. B, C, D, E. Square and it's all 10. The other faces of the pyramid are equilateral triangles with sides of length 10 centimetres. So these are all 10 as well. So everything's 10. Calculate the volume of the pyramid. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Don't forget that. Right, now, the volume of a pyramid is equal to a third times the base times the height. We can work the base out. The base is 10 times 10. So a third times 100 times the height. We don't know the height, and it's not 10. Okay. Now, if you look at this diagram, if we call, well, there's the middle, okay, of the, the square, the, the height will be, I'm going to miss the middle, aren't I? That length there. Okay. Now, to work out that length there, if you take this 2D, you get this right angled triangle going through the centre of the pyramid. Now that height, we could work that out if we knew this length there, because we've got this the hypotenuse of the right angled triangle, so we'd square that, subtract the square of that, and that would give the square of the height. But first we need this bit of a diagonal, diagonal, there. Okay. Now, because we know that's 10, and that's 10, we can actually work out the whole diagonal. So what I'm going to do is, I'll call the middle O, BD, the entire diagonal, oops, BD is equal to, well, BD squared, because it's going to be Pythagoras, BD squared is equal to BC squared plus CD squared. They're both 10. I'll put another 10 there. So it's 10 squared plus 10 squared, which is equal to 100 plus 100, which is 200, which means BD is equal to the square root of 200. Okay. OD is half of that. OD is equal to square root of 200 over 2, which is 5 root 2, or that. We'll keep it as 5 root 2. Okay, so OD, 5 root 2. 10, now we can work out the height. So the height, OA, is equal to, what's the height remember, 10 squared, take away the 5 root 2 squared, oh, OA squared remember because it's Pythagoras, OA squared is equal to 10 squared, take away 5 root 2 squared, I'm just going to square my answer in my calculator, because that's 5 root 2, I'll square that, either you get 50 so it means 10 squared take away 50 so 100 10 squared take away 50 is 50 so OA squared equals 50 so OA is the square root of 50 that's the height square root of 50 which if you I could work it out I'll get some sort of decimal but don't worry about it because we've got a calculator so we don't need to do that. Volume of the pyramid then is equal to, I'll work out here, a third times by 100 times by the height OA which is the square root of 50. Which is 1 divided by 3 third times 100 times square root 50 which gives 235.70 22604.
So 235.70226604, round that remember to three significant figures, one, two, three, so the seven is big, so five goes up one, two, six, 236. Remember the other way of looking at it is that the third significant figure is the units column, so we're going to round it to the nearest unit, the nearest whole number, which is 236. Part B, find the size of angle DAB, so DAB, so one side of the pyramid to the top, back down to the other. Now if you look at that angle, it's twice the top angle of the right angle triangle that we drew earlier inside. So since we know OD, and we also know the height as well, the height remember was square root of 50, we can work out this angle using trigonometry. So uh, first decision is do I want to use OD or which two sides do I want to use? I think I should use the OAO, AO, okay, the height, the height, and I'll use the hypotenuse, which is 10, which is already given. So the height, remember, is square root of 50. We've already found that out. So I want to find the angle. Let me just do a little diagram of it. So it's like that. That's 10. This is root 50, and we want to find this angle here. Let's call it x. That's a right angle. Um, remember Sokotoa, S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. And we've got an adjacent and a hypotenuse, which means it's that. We want to find the angle. Now C, that stands for cosine of the angle. So we want to find that, so cos x is equal to, cover it up, a divided by h. So that is the adjacent, square root of 50, divided by hypotenuse, which is 10. Which means that x is cos to the minus 1, remember? If you know, you're going to work out cosine of x by doing that, divided by that. And once you've found that, you're going to do the uh, inverse cosine by pressing second function cos button. So we're going to do that. Second function cos button of square root of 50 over 10. So we can get the answer straight away. Now, don't remember, don't forget to double it at the end there. Because we're only going to find, we're only finding half of the angle the question wants. So... Cosine to the minus 1. Inverse cosine. I'm going to press shift, cos, and then you see cos to the minus 1 turns up. Square root 50 divided by, oh no, make sure, look, see how the dividers by, divide has gone inside the cosine, so I want to get, I mean inside the square root, so I want to get out of that, divided by 10. Okay? Now, even doubt, you can always use the fraction button and on top you can press root 50 and on the bottom you can type in your 10 close the bracket like that and you can see there on the screen that's exactly what I've got written in cosine to the minus 1 of root 50 over 10 which is 45 remember your calculator must be in degrees mode so x is 45 which means our answer DAB is 45 times by 2 because we've only found half of it which is 90 degrees